If Kyrie wants to go to the Lakers, there's like the Lakers are not. God, I wish people could just get this out of their brains. The, why would the Lakers sign and trade Kyrie? Or sign and trade Kyrie for Anthony Davis? Like, what? What are they accomplishing there? This is not actually happening. Oh, whoa! Oh! I'm in. Bam on a bio for a future first. Jade Hardy and Christian Wood sign and trade, making twenty million dollars a year. Oh, God. I think Pat Riley would have to have a stroke for this to happen. And even then. But I'm in. Five-team trade. Has it? Has one of those even happened? Has a five-team trade ever happened that involved actual, like, good players for every team? Five-team trade. You got to... Oh, Jesus Christ. You really got to respect the creativity. Mavericks bring back Kyrie. Sign and trade for Kyle Kuzma making 30. So you're going to have Luka making 50 million a year. Kyrie making 40 million a year. Kuzma making 30. You also get Damian Jones and Rudy Gay. What do you give up in this scenario if you're the Mavericks? JaVel McGee, Bertons, and the 10th overall pick. So the 10th overall pick for Kuzma. Why are the Jazz getting the Mavericks 10th overall pick in this scenario? I immediately feel like the Wizards are getting fucked here. Malik Beasley goes to the Hornets. They're bringing back all these dudes. Jazz get JaVel McGee, Gordon Hayward, Davis Bertans. Two first round picks. Wait. How does any of this make sense for the Wizards? So the Wizards are giving up the eighth overall pick. The Wizards have eight or nine. I keep forgetting. They have nine, right? No, they have eight. Eighth overall pick. For two non-lottery picks. Lakers are getting Jordan Clarkson. For... A mid-tier first and Malik Beasley? This is horrible. God bless you. I admire the creativity. Three teams. Oh, God. Kyle Lowry on the Mavericks. Lakers get Kyrie in a sign and trade. He get D'Angelo Russell in a sign and trade. Mavericks get Kyle Lowry in two firsts. You know what? If Kyrie was leaving, people need to understand this about signing trades, first and foremost. You you can't really be beggars. Like if a guy wants to if a guy wants to leave and you and you need to facilitate a sign and trade, you're not gonna get much in return. So if Kyrie leaves and you get I mean, these aren't gonna be very good picks, but you get Kyle Lowry back, who, you know, whatever, he's expiring. Like, who really cares? And you get the 17th overall pick and 18th overall pick? So you have 10, 17, 18? Yeah, the Heat would not do this. They're, so the Heat are the immediate no's. They're giving $25 million a year to D'Angelo Russell, and they're giving up the 18th overall pick to do that? No chance. The Lakers, maybe. I mean, if you're the Mavericks, though, this one makes sense. Play Capella trade ideas. Oh, here we go. JaVel McGee, Josh Green, 2020. That's too much. That's an immediate no. That's too much for me. That's a little too rich for my liking. Why would the Jazz help the Wizards and Mavs? Mavericks keep... Oh, Mavericks bring back Christian Wood? And what's up, what's up with the Mavericks giving Kyle Kuzma $30 million a year? What's up with that? Why are so many people mocking this? Mavericks give up the 10th overall pick. Is this the same guy?
This is the same exact guy. Why are the Wizards giving up the eighth overall pick? That this none of this makes sense to me. Some of these are I I do admire I gotta say I really do admire the creativity. All right, here we go. Damian Lillard trade idea. Here we go. Mavericks get Chris Paul and DeAndre Ayton, and they give up two first-round picks, Jane Hardy and Josh Green in the process, and Tim Hardaway and Davis Bertans. I I'm not kidding, guys. In a video game, I would di dive into the ocean and never return. In a video game, I would dive into the ocean and never come out. This is the worst trade I've ever seen for the Mavericks. Uh, not too unreasonable. Yes, it, it, look at this. The Mavericks gave up everything. They can't even trade the 2026 first unless it's a swap. Mavericks gave up everything. Actually, I don't even, I don't even think they can swap the 2026 first. Damian Lillard and Yusuf Nurkic go to the Suns. Wait, wait, wait. So in this scenario, the Suns are getting Damian Lillard and all they're giving up is Chris Paul and DeAndre Ayton? How the fuck? So the Mavericks are basically helping the Suns get Damian Lillard while also gutting all of their assets for Chris Paul, who's done, and DeAndre Ayton, who sucks. Yay. You know what's hilarious? So that's the type of shit I can see them doing. Yusuf Nurkic and Kevin Knox on the Mavs. Oh boy, I can't wait to see this one. JaVel McGee, Tim Hardaway, and a second round pick for Yusuf Nurkic and Kevin Knox. Oh my God. One year downgrade for the future. Mavericks get first round pick in Clint Capella. They give up a second, 10th overall pick in Davis Bertans. What's that, Phoenix pick? Hold on a second. Ben Capella and 21 for 10 and get off the Davis Bertons deal. Hmm. That's not the worst for the Mavericks. Truth be told, that's not the worst. Yeah, so, okay, the Hawks are getting Patty Mills, Davis Bertans, and the 10th overall pick. Oh, boy, they're bringing in Blake Griffin. <laughs> they're giving up John Collins, Clay Capella, two seconds. They'd have to really want the 10th overall pick, I guess. Because in this scenario, you would have the 10th overall pick, and what else do they have, 15 or 16? Yeah, 15. I think this was made by a Hawks fan, though, maybe. I don't think that's bad for the Mavericks. Mavs offseason. Here we go. Mavericks get Clint Capella. And what, what pick is that again? The Minnesota one? 16? Bring back Kyrie. Bring back Christian Wood for $15 million a year. You give up Tim Hardaway in the 10th overall pick. And you're bringing in Clint Capella. Atlanta would never do this, but you're bringing in Clint Capella. I mean, outside of outside of the Christian Wood piece of this, I wouldn't mind it. Here we go. Reggie Block, Tim Hardaway Jr., and Maxi Kleba for Tobias Harris. Why on earth would the Mavericks do this? What what is what is the reasoning? What is the reasoning? And this is from a Tobias defender. Bucks retool. How are the Mavericks involved? Oh, Chris Middleton, and they bring back Kyrie for Reggie Bullock, Tim Hardaway, and the tenth overall pick. Nope. 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 I'm out. Bucks get Tim Hardaway, T.J. McConnell, Fred Van Vliet, 
Daniel Tice, two first round picks. Bring back Brooke Lopez and Joe Ingles. Oh, a Bucks fan definitely made this. So for Bobby Portis, Pat Connington, Grayson Allen, and uh, Chris Middleton, you're getting Tim Hardaway, TJ McConnell, Fred Van Vliet, and two first round picks, including a top 10 one. Bro, how high do you rate THJ? I just don't want to pay Chris Middleton. Like, I, I, he doesn't fit on the team, I don't think. But I think the Mavericks are sending out one very positive asset in their 10th overall pick, one positive asset in Tim Hardaway, and one slightly positive af asset in Reggie Bullock for Chris Middleton. Like, I, I, that doesn't really move me. Pacers giving up a late first. A oh, Pacers giving up two firsts. And TJ McConnell, who I think is a positive player for Bobby Portis and Pat Connington. I don't I don't see why they would do that. Raptors help facilitate a, a sign and trade for Fred Van Vliet for Reggie Bullock, Grayson Allen, and a first. I mean, I think they could do that if, if Fred was gone. Four-team blockbuster. Oh, OG. On the Mavericks. Davis Bertans, Josh Green, and the 10th overall pick. And the Mavericks get OG. Would you guys do that? Get off the Davis money. You lose Josh Green. You give up 10. You get OG. The Raptors. Okay, okay. The Raptors are never doing this. Well, hold on a second. Raptors give up Siakam and OG. And in return, they get Davis Berton's negative asset. Anthony Simons. Josh Green. Shane Sharp. 10th overall pick and the 3rd overall pick. That's a pretty damn good haul. And the Blazers give up Amphrey Simon, Shane Sharp, and the third overall pick for Jalen Brown. This is one of the more interesting ones. I'll say that. This is the, oh, this is the one where I'm like, I don't think this is an utter dis disgrace for every team involved. Blockbuster trade. Beer, 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 beer. Celtics, all right. <laughs> Jesus. Celtics are getting Davis Bertans and Trey Young. Hawks are getting Reggie Bullock in the tenth overall pick. Okay, Mavericks and this trade are getting Clint Capella, Sadiq Bay, and uh, the fifteenth overall pick. They give up the tenth overall pick, Reggie Bullock and Davis Bertans. Yeah, immediately that's a yes. Immediately, that's a big fuck yes. The Hawks give up Trey, 15, Clint Capella, and Sadiq Bay. I don't, I don't think the Hawks are doing that. I don't think the Hawks are doing that. And I really don't think the Celtics would. The Mavericks are the team where it's like, hell yeah. And then this thing was made by a Mavericks fan. So like... Don't see Dallas is interested in that either. Dude, are you kidding me? This would be a fucking home run for the Mavericks. You move down five. You still get a, a, one pick outside the lottery, but you still get a top 15 pick, Clint Capella, Sadiq Bay, And you're getting off the Bertons money. You lose Reggie, which, which sucks, I guess. But this is, this is an easy yes for the Mavericks. No doubt about it. But I, I, don't, get, I, I don't get the trade for Jalen Brown thing. I don't, I don't see how it, I don't like, okay. So what are the Hawks doing in that scenario? Building around Jalen Brown? Are they building around DeJounte? I don't know. Dallas creates a super team. I see DeMar DeRozan. Let me be the judge of that. Whoa. Okay. Hold on a second here. DeMar DeRozan and Kyle Anderson. <laughs> the delusion music needs to be playing for this. All right, DeMar DeRozan and Kyle Anderson. They're signing Brooke Lopez. How? I don't know. Victor Oladipo on the minimum. Joe Ingles. 
Boban and Max True. So the the salary cap has been abolished in this scenario. Give up the tenth overall pick. Christian would sign and trade for DeRozan, I guess. And you get Kyle Anderson for Reggie Bullock. This is uh. Oh my God, this guy actually thinks it's bad for the Mavericks. This is a, what? This is a pipe dream scenario. I don't really want DeMar, but if the price of DeMar DeRozan is a sign in trade for Christian Wood and Tim Hardaway and the 10th overall pick, actually, no, I don't really want to do that. But you're giving up Christian Wood in a sign and trade, whatever. Tim Hardaway, Reggie Block in the 10th overall pick for all of these guys If in, in this scenario, I would do that. This is fun. I, 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 I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm having a good time. Mavericks hit Jordan Clark, Clarkson, Kyle Kuzma, Daniel Gafford, and the 16th overall pick. Okay. I'm immediately interested. Immediately interested. They give up the 10th overall pick. Kyrie goes to the Wizards? What? I mean, this is an elite. I mean, this is an elite side of trade for the Mavericks. Hell yeah, I mean, I'd be interested. But the Wizards are giving up the eighth overall pick. They're facilitating a sign and trade with Kuzma. They're also giving up Gafford, Monte Morris, and Johnny Davis. And in return, they're getting Kyrie Irving, the tenth overall pick, and Colin Sexton. The Jazz are giving up Colin Sexton and the fifteenth overall pick for the eighth overall pick: Monte Morris, Johnny Davis, and Davis Bertans. I don't think this is possible. Mavs rebuild roster. Roster rebuild 2023. Resign Kyrie. Trade for Allen. Jared Allen, I'm guessing. Trade number 10 pick for John Collins and number 16 pick. Draft Lively at 16. Maybe even try to sign Dylan Brooks as a free agent. Um... So you move down a few spots for John Collins. Yeah, I really don't like John Collins. I don't even think the Mavericks can't do this without sending out salary. Javel McGee, Reggie Block, Maxi Kleba for Jared Allen and Dean Wade. And they draft Lively. Still need wings in this scenario. This one was trending yesterday, I believe. Okay, yeah, I saw this. I saw this. Why would the Sixers do this? Okay, people need to understand. People need to understand. Sign and trades don't work like this. Sign and trades are, hey, this guy wants to leave your team and come to us. We need help facilitating it. We'll give you some crumbs as a thank you. That is what that is what sign and trades look like usually. This would make a little bit more sense, I think, if Tobias Harris had like three years left or something and they really wanted to get off his money. But two first and Tyrese Maxey and an expiring $40 million contract, which could be really valuable in trades. I just don't see it. I don't see it. Like if the Mavericks, if the if the Sixers needed help with a sign and trade, maybe we could talk about like Tobias Harris, and maybe, maybe, maybe a pick, maybe a pick if you're lucky. But I think the Mavericks would probably like if if they're doing a sign and trade with the Sixers, I think the Mavericks would just straight up do Tobias Harris straight up. Honestly, I think they would do that. I need okay. This I've been on this for much longer than I thought I would, but I'm I'm thoroughly enjoying this experience. All right, we just looked at that one. These are all within like the last three hours. Mavericks are hot. This isn't Mavs related. Who says no?
So Nets. <laughs> so the Nets give up Mikel Bridges, Cam Johnson. And what is that? The, the 21st overall pick? For Grant Williams. And the third overall pick. The Blazers are getting Jalen Brown. For the third overall pick, Anthony Simon, Shane Sharp, and whatever this next pick is. So this, holy shit, wait. This has to be a Celtics fan. Who said Celtics devote, devotee? All right, yeah. That's hilarious. Oh, Christ. <laughs> Luca for Chet. Josh Giddy. Clippers first. Rockets first. There's got to be 2023 20, picks involved. Oh, God. <sighs> Mavericks get to Mar again. Rudy Gobert. Okay. And a future first. Kyrie goes to the Bulls. Mavericks give up the 10th overall pick. Jaden Hardy and Davis Bertans. So the Timberwolves pawn off Rudy Gobert and get Caruso, Hardy, and a 10th overall pick. Gross. This is a big no for me, personally. I'm really not interested in DeMar. I don't know why this keeps popping up. Go to trending trades. These are like a month old, though. What I would do as a Dallas Mavericks GM, I, we already read that, didn't we? Luca finally gets help. Kyrie, Seth Curry. Oh, this happened during the season. I was like, wait, hold on a second. Wolves would never take a loss on Gobert like that. Would that be a loss? They're getting off of him for relatively treat for relatively cheap. Do I dare? Do I dare? Let's see what Luka Doncic trades have been cooking. Let's see what Luka Doncic trades have been have been have been brewing up. Brown for Luka. That was Bertans and Luka Doncic, Jalen Brown, Derek White, Robert Williams, and two future firsts. If Luka demanded a trade, this isn't like a disastrous return, honestly. But kind of it is because you, your team is just still would be so far away from contending. Luka. Oh, let's see how this one makes sense. Luca for Joe Harris, Ben Simmons. So two bad contracts. Cam Thomas. 21st overall this year. Future 2029. Phoenix. Phoenix. You get your future first back. No. No. Mavericks went, oh, here we go. Failed. Nice. Mavericks get John Collins, Trey Young. Oh my God. Wait, what? Wait, what? The Mavericks just become the Hawks. The Mavericks get John Collins, Trey Young, and DeJounte Murray. <laughs> and the 20, and uh, the 15th overall pick. Tim Hardaway, Luka Doncic, Josh Green. Why in the fuck is Josh Green involved in this deal?
The Jazz are getting two. The Jazz are getting. Wait, wait, wait. What? The Jazz are getting three first round picks for Colin Sexton. I guess they're bringing on the Bertons and Bogey money, but. That's hilarious. That is hilarious. Mavericks trade Luka Doncic and just become the Atlanta Hawks. Oh, yeah. Here we go. This one looks like it makes sense immediately. Just from the thumbnail. Mavericks get... Okay, yeah. I'm interested in this one. Mavericks get Chris Paul, Kevin Durant, Chris Milton, and Devin Booker. Okay. That's fair. Nets get Drew Holiday, Davis Bertans, Giannis, Dwight Powell, Christian Wood, and DeAndre Ayton. All right. All right. Suns get Kyrie, Tim Hardaway, Mikel Bridges, and Luka. Bucks get Spencer Dinwiddie, Joe Harris, Ben Simmons, and Cam Johnson. That's a good deal for the Bucks, I think. You lose Middleton, you lose Drew, you lose Giannis, and in return you get Spence, Joe Harris, Ben Simmons, and, and Cam Johnson. That one makes some sense for them. For Luka Doncic and Kyrie, the Mavericks get Devin Booker, Chris Middleton, Kevin Durant, and Chris Paul. All right, okay, I see the vision. The Suns, the Suns say yes to this, right? I think every team here says no, besides the Nets, obviously. And the Suns? Are the Suns, I think, say yes. Kyrie, Tim, Mikel, and Luka. They might, they might tell you they would say no, but I think they would actually say yes. Doncic for Young again. Can we just look at this one? Oh, this one's a little bit more... This one's a little bit more intense. John Collins... Okay, this is from the same guy for sure. Dallas and Spurs. So Luca straight up for the number one overall pick. Both teams say no. Hmm, you think the Spurs say no to that? I don't think they do. Mavericks obviously say fuck no. Dream. Oh, let's dream. Nuggets. Yeah, let's dream. KCP and Aaron Gordon. Let's dream. As in, this is a dream you had? Yeah, okay, yeah. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here's some movement. Oh, my God. Shay, I love you. I want, like, I want, like, some serious... Some serious Luca trade packages. The Dallas Mavericks are not planning to help Kyrie Irving in a potential sign and trade. This is four days old. This is smart. A little bit unsettling that shit like this is leaking, but I mean, why would they? <laughs> 